never think about the origin of the shape that you're wanting to be to build. See what I mean? Like me being from the projects, poor and dirt, played football in college. And had I not gone to college and taken art history and understood about the Greeks and the Romans and the classical shapes, I wouldn't have ever been able to have a reference about where my shapes are coming from. But because I was academically trained, that means that I am basing my basic ideals in my direction. In other words, when I sit down in front of this clay, I know that I'm going to start with some kind of classical shape or form. That's what's in my mind. Don Ellis, a buddy of mine, he comes from the American Indian. It has subtle variations in contour. But at least I have established the origin of where what I'm doing. Most of you go, what am I going to do? You know, don't let yourself get trapped into that. You sit down and you say, I'm going to make a beautiful classical shape. At least you have a direction. And then the next big question is, after you deal with this shape, are you going to make that shape? Is it going to be all about shape and form? Or is it going to be about form and function? Now most of you will start out making a shape and then you'll say something like, well, I believe I'm going to make this into a picture. See what I mean? That's bad. If you're going to make a picture, then there's a whole different set of criteria for functional wear as opposed to dealing with shape and form. When I'm dealing with shape and form, I want to get the maximum out of my material. I want to visually excite you to the point to where you will, you know, go, wow, this is a beautiful shape. And then I've come, but I know where I've come from and I know what my direction was. So there's no ambiguousness in my creation, in my process. And you clear those two little subtle things up and it's amazing how far down the line you're going to get with what you're doing. You know, any of you ever thought about that? Huh? I think about that all oh, the time. Oh, you, you, you poop on you. <laughs> <laughs>